it's so loud out here. She my cherry cola, she gon' keep me sober. Let me keep you closer, bubbling like a soda. Sweeter than a champagne, sweeter than Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Still don't really have an intro. Um, you may notice that we're outside. And that's because, one, it's too hot to record inside. And two, because I need to relax because I have already tried to record this video once with my DSLR camera, which uh, just didn't work. I hope those chimes aren't too loud or bothersome. They're to like scare birds off. I'm on my deck right now. Um, but yeah, this is a slime Q&A video. So on my story on Instagram, I used that new feature and I asked a bunch of questions, well no, I didn't ask a bunch of questions, I asked my fans to send in questions, anything related to slime, so I'm going to be reading from my laptop, and yeah, so let's get started. Okay, the course, course question, <laughs> the first question, uh, what is the hardest thing about running a slime business? Also, I love you queen, I love you too. Um, the hardest part about running a slime business, honestly, would probably be the customer service part of it because it's one thing dealing with people like in a store, you know, like in a retail store, but when you're online talking to someone through an email, like they kind of don't hold back, they're, they're more rude because it's less personal, so you get a lot of like angry customers even if you yourself have done nothing wrong, they just want to be nasty so yeah i feel like that would be the hardest part is dealing with customer service butter or fishbowl slime and i would say butter slime just because i really do prefer uh, white glue slime over clear glue slime um, but i don't hate fishbowl i love fishbowl it's just butter slime is more holdable and i really love holdable slimes if you could only play with one of your slimes forever which one would you pick um, I would pick a cloud slime. I'd probably pick like Peach Fuzz or Bugsy's Dream Cloud. I really hope those chimes aren't annoying. Do you think the slime trend will ever die down? I definitely do think that every trend has, you know, its peak and then it kind of slowly goes down. And I think with every trend that's gonna happen. It definitely has already hit its peak of, I guess, hype. And that was probably like last summer-ish. So it has slowly gone down. I don't think it's gonna be like a crash and burn type scenario where everybody just loses sales right away or whatever it may be, but it's gonna happen. I guess people kind of have to be prepared for that. What's the most failed slime attempt you've tried? I tried to make that kind of cloud slime that you make with clear slime, where it's like icy slime or something like that. It has like a different texture. But every time I made it, it just kept getting sticky, like no matter how much activator you put in. So I would consider that a fail. It wasn't like awful, but it just was always sticky, which was which is like a pet peeve of mine. So yeah. How do you make bead slimes without the annoying bead fallouts? That's a good question. The one thing I've noticed that causes bead fallout is if your slime is oily and that can be from lotion or fragrance oil. Fragrance oil, you have to be really careful because some of them might not affect it at all. Some of them might affect it even with one drop, um, which is why a lot of slime sellers don't scent crunchy clear slimes. Um, I've really only found a couple scents that don't cause bead fallout. so. It's really tricky, so if you want to play it safe, I would just advise you to not put any scent in your crunchy slime. Will you be making any more Detroit Become Human themed slimes? I definitely want to. I've made two so far, Blue Blood and Red Ice. I didn't really expect them to be so um, popular, but people seem to really like them, which uh, is surprising. So. Yeah, I'd like to. Maybe I'll make like a sumo for cloud slime or something. How many times do you have to film a video before it's perfect? 
Honestly, there's like not many chances to re-record videos because like then the slime doesn't look as good so it just really takes one shot and if it turns out bad, it turns out bad. When someone says the slime is holdable, what does it mean? It basically means that like you can play with it in one hand. Like you don't have to play with it on a table or something. What kind of mixer do you use? I use a KitchenAid 6 quart mixer. So it's the one where you have to like turn a crank to put the bowl up. I'm still getting used to looking at the camera so I'm sorry if I don't do that. How do you buy all of your slime supplies? Do you go to a store or do you order online? I order most of my supplies online but like if I'm in a rush I'll like pick up glue at a store or whatever. Um, but yeah, most of my supplies are purchased online. What made you go for selling slimes worldwide and did your parents support you? Well, I've never really sold worldwide. I sell to like, I think eight different countries. Um, but my parents support my business like they had from the beginning. What got you into slime making? I had an ASMR account before my slime account and I would just make like mediocre short little ASMR videos and a lot of ASMR at the time was slime related so like phloem crunching or slime snipping or putting your mic into the bubbles and stuff so I ran into an account called Peachy Slimes and that was basically the first slime account that I kind of fell in love with and I knew that I wanted to do this for myself I wanted to try it out it looked so cool um, so I followed one of her recipes and made like some fluffy, really bad fluffy slime and I was like, yeah, I want to do this. So I just kept making slime and uh, that's how it started. And then I made my slime account in October of 2016. Is there any way you can dry out instant snow? You actually can. I mean, if you made it too wet, you can literally just leave it there and the water will evaporate and it'll be back to a powder. What slime and from who would you want a gallon of slime from? That is an interesting creative question. That's a tough one though because I have a lot of favorite slimes. Honestly, I would want either... I don't remember what it's called but it's a slime from the slime hive and it's like caramel popcorn or something like that. Either that one or blueberry muffin by Slime Studio because it smells so good. Are you going to any slime conventions, slime bashes? At the moment, I only have one confirmed that I'm going, and that is Slime Bash 2, and that's in October, I believe? Yeah. What do you think is the hardest slime to make? I think that the hardest slime to make is definitely cloud slime. Um, it's finicky. It uh, turns out differently depending on the weather. You really need to get the right ratio of water into your snow. It's just all around. It's so finicky. So, definitely cloud slime. What slime trend do you wish never happened? I hate the videos where it's like, oh, which one has glitter? Which one has the dye? You know, like those clickbaity ones. Like, I just hate the clickbait videos. Do you use Daiso or Model Magic for all your butter slimes? I use both. Can you go more into detail about your filming setup for your Instagram slime videos? Um, okay, well, Basically, I have my phone on a tripod, and the tripod is kind of like mounted up by a few slimes just because it makes it taller. And then I have a big, big whiteboard, and then the lighting that I use is an overhead 5600K light bulb or something? Yeah, 5600K. And I normally record during the day, but I sometimes record at night, and it doesn't really make that much of a difference. But yeah, I think that's all the components to my filming setup. Is it hard work packaging and making the slimes? It takes quite a while to do my tasks every single day. I probably spend a good 8 to 10 hours making slime on the weekend. And then on Monday, on Monday I have the least amount of work to do. I basically just have to like put finishing touches on the listings and uh, restock. Uh, Tuesday, I get the order sheets ready and the slimes downstairs into my workroom and I package them up with bubble wrap. On Wednesday, I start the packing process, buying shipping labels. Thursday too, Friday, I go to the post office. So I spend about three to four, 
four to five hours a day on slime, so. If you were a slime, what would you be? That is an interesting question. Um, I'd be like an awkward, hard to hold slime because I'm extremely awkward in real life. So like, I'd be like a pom-pom slime or a jelly cube slime because those are really hard to hold. <laughs> if you could, could you change your, would you change your slime name? You would still have all of your followers and everything. Um, I would just like to get the username slime bun, like all one word without the period, but it's taken by an account that's inactive. It always is, but yeah. Do any of your friends think slime is weird? Because mine definitely do. Not a lot of my friends know about my slime business. Well, okay. I have friends from college and I have friends from way back in high school. And those are like the friends that I've kept close with. So all of my high school friends know about my slime business, but I don't necessarily go out of my way and tell my college friends because I feel like they would think it's weird, but my high school friends are very accepting. <laughs> Do you have a cucumber melon scent? Very specific, but yes. Could you explain what a sleigh slime is? I've been so confused, but I love their textures. A sleigh slime is clay slime with less clay. So sleigh, I, I, don't, I don't really know why it's called sleigh, but it's basically a butter slime with less clay in it. What are your top three favorite slimes that you created and why? Um, right off the top of the list would be Bugsy's Dream Cloud just because it's so pretty and I love it. Another iconic one would probably be Black Cherry Fish Bowl. And that one is because it smells really good and it's crunchy and beautiful. And as a third one, maybe my Frozen Lemonade Twist. That one's kind of like one of my faves right now just because it smells really good and reminds me of one of my favorite drinks. What do you think of all of the crazy new slime ideas like java chips, plastic snow, etc.? I love the creativity that this community has like sprouted. I, I've never even thought to even put something like cut up table bumpers into slime. Like that is so crazy to me. Like I can't even imagine what's going to be the next thing. Like I'm so excited to know. <laughs> But I feel like my favorite thing would probably be like the foam squares because it looks really cool. What is your borax to water ratio? It is one cup of water to one teaspoon of borax. And that is for all of my slimes. How do you handle everything? Orders, slime, complaints. Um, well, it's obviously not easy to do everything yourself. Unlike a lot of bigger accounts, I am one person, I have no help from literally anybody, nobody answers my emails for me, nobody makes slime for me, nobody packages for me, it's all just me. And it's definitely not easy, um, you kind of just get used to it honestly, it's, it's still hard, it's still extremely stressful, but it just gets easier to manage to deal with. Have you ever bought store-bought slime? I have from Michael's. It's like that uh, that Halloween edition jiggly one that I bought with the spider in it. Store-bought slimes are weird. <laughs> like, like it's, it's a whole different like realm of slime. It's like not anything close to homemade. It's totally different. It's made, I don't even think it's made with glue or anything. It's made with like some different substance so that it doesn't get sticky. Can you do a tutorial on how to make icy slime or crunch cake slime? I definitely can, that can be my next tutorial. Why don't you sell more than four ounces? It's really just a preference. Um, they're easier to package, they're small, they're convenient. People aren't as intimidated by the price as they would an eight ounce slime because it's twice as much. Will you bring back Neapolitan ice cream? Um, I will if I can find the clay for it. I mean, that's the only thing holding me back is that brown and pink clay are kind of hard to get in Canada, so. What slimes are you bringing to Slime Bash 2? I have no idea yet. I cannot plan that far in advance. 
Did you have a name before Slime Bun? I actually did. My username was ASMR Bunny Slimes because, like I said before, it was a ASMR account. So it was like Slime was my side account, which is weird to think of now. <laughs> What's the highest amount of followers you think this account will go up to? It's really hard to say. Um, I never thought I would get to a million, not in a million years. I'm really not sure how to answer that. How much longer will you be selling slime or running an account? Obviously, I'm not going to sell if it's not profitable anymore, if nobody buys, but I don't really see myself stopping anytime really soon. It's just whenever it happens. How long will slime last before going bad? Slime lasts a super long time. And like from what I've seen, I've gotten slimes returned to me from over a year ago, which is crazy. And they were completely fine. It just depends on how clean you are when you play with your slime. If you always have dirty hands going in, you're gonna get germs in there, it's gonna get moldy. But if you're clean, you wash your hands before and after you play with slime every single time, your slime should last you like over a year, well over a year. What's the difference between jelly, icy, slushy, and freeze slimes? Uh, well, okay, starting with jelly. Jelly is when you put a small amount of fake snow into clear slime, and that gives it like a jellyish texture. Icy is the clear version of the slime with the plastic snow in it. Slushy is with the little plastic pellets. Freeze slimes? I'm not sure what that is. If you were a normal customer, what would you order from your shop and why? I would order, right now, I would order Bugsy's Dream Cloud and Frozen Lemonade Twist because they sound really good to me. What's the most annoying thing you get asked as an adult slimer? Well, I don't think a lot of people know that I'm an adult, really. I think they think I'm like 16 because I really do look 16. I look like a child. But the most annoying question I get asked in general is, can I have free slime? Which brings me to this. You know what my answer is? No. Nobody, nobody is going to give you free slime. No seller is going to give you free slime if you ask for free slime. How would you justify going into like, I don't know, Walmart and picking up a chocolate bar and going up to the cash and going, can I have this for free? Like, what would you think the cashier is gonna say. I just don't understand why this is such a big problem in this community. Like I've never seen this before in my life. So many people asking for free things. Like it's kind of an insult. Like why are we any different than a clothing store or a grocery store or you know anything like that? It's just like it's just rude. Why have you always... Ah! No! What do you recommend as a non-borax activator? Um, well, I know that you can use contact lens solution and uh, baking soda. I've never tried it, but apparently it works. You can also use uh, liquid starch and I think that might be it. I'm not really sure what else. How don't you break your nails when you play with slime? You just have to be gentle. I mean, it's not, it's, you just have to be gentle with your hands. How do you balance your college life with making slime for your restock every week? It's really just, you have to plan what works. Who's the first slime account you bought from? I think the first account I ever bought from was Scented Slime by Amy. And I bought like her, I think it was like birthday cake funfetti or something like that. It smelled so good. I kept it until it got moldy from me playing with it too much. Why when I always go to your website at 5 o'clock you're always sold out? Because I restock at 6 o'clock, so you're too early. How did you get into the slime community? Do you ever think it's childish? Uh, well, I already answered the first part to the question. Um, do I think it's childish? I think that... Well, there's a lot of kids in the slime community, so... There, there's been an, a lot of unnecessary drama just because drama follows people. Okay, that was all the questions. Interesting. 
That didn't take nearly as long as I thought it would. Um, but yeah, I hope I answered a lot of your slime related questions. Um, and I hope this was an interesting video. Making YouTube videos is definitely a new thing for me. Um, and I'm still trying to get used to talking to the camera, like I said in my last video. But I do enjoy it, so I would like to continue. Please let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see. If you want to see more videos where I talk to you guys like this, more tutorials, maybe even something not slime related, I don't really know. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out when I post every week. So yeah, that's about it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!